The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. Huh, must be underground. Guess it's time for some urban spelunking. Ugh, that's a new smell. Yuck. Hope I find Sable before the fumes overwhelm her. If I can get through this without getting wet, that'd be a win. Never take fresh water for granted again. Well, okay, let's see where this leads. Looks like some loose bricks up ahead. <laughs> nice. Okay, onward. Hammerheads, guys. They've taken over an abandoned subway platform. Gotta take these guys out, then look around for Sable. Hey, you wanna know what I've been thinking? Not really. I was thinking, we need an insurance policy. For what? So boss said once we take over this Sable business, we all get a cut of profits. Did I startle you? around here work. Okay. No talking during the infiltration.
You earned it. Okay, that's all of them. Now, I bet if I follow the power cables, I'll find where they're holding Sable. I should follow the power cables. Hope that's not a load-bearing subway car. Nice. Okay, follow the yellow wire. Better not find- Ah, tunnel's blocked. But I think I can still squeeze through. This just took a turn. This one. What do you mean, what happened? He died inside the thing, like the other guys. Who was it? Don't remember his name. Sal's cousin, I think. Was it messy? Nah, he just came out all blue. I think he stopped breathing in there or something. Did you hook up the oxygen line like I said? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think so. Boss ain't gonna like hearing, I... Hmm? Better check that out. What the hell is that? Gotta do this quick, and then find Sable. We're getting very sleepy. their main base of operations. Sable jetpacks. I'd pay good money to see Hammerhead's guys learning to fly in these things for the first time. Project Olympus. These pods require- I told you, I just helped manufacture these things. I didn't design them. Guess we got the wrong guy then. On the bright side, now we got our first test subject. No! No! Don't! Don't turn it on! Please! Just give me a few minutes. I can figure it out. Now that's what I like to hear. XRT-89, Subterranean Troop Deployment Vehicle. That's the real name? <laughs> I'm sticking with Big Boy. All this stuff belongs to Sable? Yeah, most of it's overseas, though. What are you thinking, boss? I'm thinking about how she took over the whole city in a matter of days. You mean back during that Devil's Breath thing? Yeah, that was crazy. Not so crazy when you got the right equipment. Well, we got those digging things. Not good enough. If we want the best stuff, we're gonna need her. Yeah, okay. How are we gonna do that? Just keep taking her stuff. She'll come to us. Wow. If Hammerhead gets his hands on this thing, we're in serious trouble. The cop almost killed me. I thought you said I'd be indestructible. I said almost indestructible. 
After all, you're still human. Then make me less human. I... I'm not sure what you mean. I mean what I said. Now get to work. Sable. Sounds like she's close. There. The only way out is through. High voltage wires and sewer water. What could possibly go wrong? If there's one takeaway from this underground lair thing, it's that Hammerhead should have fewer thugs with guns and a lot more safety inspectors. back for me. Why? Because I need you. I work alone. I used to say the same thing. I know what's happening in Simkaria. I know why this means so much to you. You think you know, but you do not know. What can I do to make you trust me? Look, I think I know how we can take down that monster, but I can't do it alone. Damn it! He let her loose! Okay, here's the plan. Hold on. Good plan.
was awesome! High five! You said you could defeat Hammerhead. You, uh, know you left me hanging, right? There are medical records in here. Yeah, mostly about that metal plate in his head. Carbon steel. Super strong, pretty sensitive to... Heat. I have an idea. I, uh, solemnly swear to, uh, do whatever you tell me to. I will call soon. Yeah. Guess I'll do some spidey work while I wait for Sable's call. Hey, what's that? What's with all the yellow stuff? Huh. Is this some weird street artist thing? Police report. Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So, you have some work-related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So they tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. Guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. And what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. I love treasure hunts, but something tells me I'm not gonna find a chest full of gold at any of these places. I think I'm close to another crime scene. Hey, Peter. Just letting you know I haven't left the house. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city, like constantly. Pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Remember what May used to say, you help someone, you help everyone. Yeah, but I never really understood what she meant. Okay, you know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah. After she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to the shelter. So we helped her, and now she wants to help others. Helping is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this, so stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! Another police report. And another audio recorder. This looks familiar. I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean this scare you. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. But tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Hmm. Typical day? Because it starts with waking up, checking my phone, see who the boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. 
I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon, and dinner, and I... Sorry, um, can you go back for a moment? What does do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss tells me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Got quite the resume. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Magia enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. I am ready. Meet me at my base. I've been meaning to ask, how exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Right. Good talk. Why is she always hanging up on me? Maybe she didn't hang up on purpose. We probably just got to... Let's hear what the recorder has to say. So what do you think, Doc? Well, clinically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> You're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You do what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Whoa! You want to get right to it? Okay then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're gonna do something for me. Well, that took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. 